Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is French Shinobi, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about iOS 15, specifically on the iPhone 10, because this is like a four-year-old iPhone right now, and some of the features are missing with iOS 15, which you won't get on this phone. So we're gonna discuss everything about iOS 15 on the iPhone 10. So make sure to stick till the end if you're interested in this particular topic. With that said, let's hit that intro. Alright, so you already know about the widgets and the app library that were introduced in iOS 14 but this time around there are a few new widgets added so I'm not gonna mention all of them so yeah there are a few widgets been added you can see the widgets menu there are a lot of them right now and the first big change that is like being introduced with iOS 15 is with FaceTime so now with FaceTime you can send links to people for them to join whether they are on an Android or a Windows device it doesn't matter you can share the link with them they can click on the link and they can open and join the FaceTime through their browser either on their phone or on their desktop or laptop and yeah it works pretty well you don't have all the features of facetime but yeah it works pretty well i've tried it with a few friends and it works really well for other people also so you can now include people who don't have an iphone or an apple device into facetime and there is also support for spatial audio and portrait mode in facetime right now but yeah i don't have that on my iphone 10 because it is not supported it only starts from the iphone 10r and above so if you have an iphone 10 you won't have those features in facetime Time. that is a bummer but yeah what can we do all right so the next change is in the weather app which has seen some aesthetic changes so recently as you may already know that apple acquired dark sky which was a weather app and now that integration is coming into play with this weather app with like enhanced animations and very detailed weather info and the app looks more uh, aesthetic i would say and then we have some design changes in safari also so safari has been redesigned completely everything that was on the top is now shifted to the bottom now you have these swipeable tabs so you can swipe between them to change and yeah everything that was on the top has been shifted down below but you can uh, like move back to the old design by going into the settings of safari and changing it it looks pretty cool if you're not used to it you can just go back to the previous one now apple maps has included some new 3d and ar maps for a few cities around the world so it is not available everywhere but it is there for some cities like london or some cities of usa like cupertino <laughs> for instance yeah so it is there I don't really use Apple Maps, I only use Google Maps, so I don't really care. Alright, notifications have been made a little bit more better on iOS 15 right now. So you can see a new design is there for all the notifications. It is more rounded around the edges and the notifications are sorted like in a better way in comparison to previous iOS versions. So yeah, now it will come up as separate tiles and then they will group together for every single app and you can see and visit them more easily. And that's also something called the notification summary, which is a summary of all of your notifications throughout the day, which you can schedule to be delivered at some point in the day, whenever you want it to be. So that if you have missed something, you may just take a look at it later on. All right. After this, there have been a few changes in the photos app. You now have the shared with you option, okay, which will bring all the uh, like media and stuff which are being shared on iMessage to all the different apps. So you will have the share with you tab. I don't really use iMessage and in my country, nobody really uses it. So I don't really have that. I've turned it off. And other than that, you have the new memories option, which will create collages and videos of like different kind of memories, different photos and videos that you have taken over time with your phone and other devices into a collage with music and stuff which looks pretty cool yeah it's whatever so the next big thing that has been introduced with iOS 15 is focus mode so focus mode is something which lets you create and use different profile modes and you can customize them any way you want and there is an AI which will also create profiles for you based on your usage throughout the day which is pretty cool so you have some pre-created like profiles so you can tweak them or you can just create your own profile which is pretty good it is not just a do not disturb mode it is a do not disturb mode on steroid this time all right also in the photos app there is another change so now after so many years you can finally see all the active details 
of all of your media so you can just swipe up on any photo or video and you will see all the details about that photo where was it taken how much is the storage what is the resolution on which device was it taken everything and yeah it is not only for like photos and videos taken from the iphone any photo or video that you import you will be able to see the details of that which is pretty cool all right next big thing which was introduced with ios 15 is something called as light text so it is a feature which is supposed to help you copy any kind of text from any kind of picture either on the phone or from the web yeah but it doesn't work on the iphone 10 it again requires you to have an iphone 10r or later to be work so yeah we don't really have that and i cannot show you that also a few little sections have been added in the messages app with the transactions tab and the promotions tab to make it a little more sorted i guess also in the notes app now you can add hashtags or tags basically and you can also mention people in certain notes so that they will be notified when you mention them so that they can like edit it out or maybe start working with the same thing and you can easily find those notes using the hashtags that you include which is pretty cool also there is a new live listen and background sound option which like if turned on which plays some like quiet noise or rain noise or something like that which lets you focus better i don't really use it maybe you will last but not least performance so performance on iOS 15 on my iPhone 10 has been pretty great as of yet. I haven't seen any hiccups or any heating issues and it works really well. And I think it has become a little bit more faster because the animations are a little bit more smoother, which is always welcomed. So yeah, this is overall whatever I liked basically in iOS 15. There are a lot of little bit little features like people are making one hour long videos on them so you can watch those if you want to know about them in detail but yeah these were some overviews about ios 15 on iphone 10 and this is the exact build which was released on 20th september the official build so yeah, if you're updating this is all you can get if you have like the newer phones so you'll get everything if you have some older phones you will miss out on a few features that's about it for this video so if you liked it then don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. I'm gonna also make an iPad OS 15 video, which is gonna come later today, I believe. So yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. And with that said, I'm your friend Shinobi, and I'm signing out. Peace.